regarding of transactions 1 accounting equation solutions problem 10 solution presented by edxit.com in this video we are going to provide regarding of transactions 1 accounting equation solutions problem 10 solution the problem statement is as follows bobby opened a consulting firm and completed these transactions during November 2014. Invested 4 lakh rupees cash and office equipment with 1 lakh 50 thousands in a business called Bobby Consulting. Purchased land and a small office building. The land was worth 1 lakh 50 thousand rupees and the building worth 3 lakh 50 thousand rupees. The purchase price was paid with 2 lakh rupees cash and a long term note payable for 8 lakh rupees. Purchased office supplies on credit for 12,000 rupees. Bobby transferred title of motor car to the business. The motor car was worth 90,000 rupees. Purchased for 30,000 additional office equipment on credit. Paid 7,500 salary to the office manager. Provided services to a client and collected 30,000 rupees. Paid 4,000 for the month's utilities. Paid supplier created in transaction C. Purchased new office equipment by paying 93,000 cash and trading in old equipment with a recorded cost of 7,000 rupees. Completed services of a client for 26,000 rupees. This amount is to be paid within 30 days. Received 19,000 payment from the client created in transaction K. Bobby withdrew 20,000 rupees from the business. Analyze the above stated transactions and open the following T accounts. Cash, client, office supplies, motor car, building, land, long term payables, capital, withdrawals, salary, Expense and Utilities Expense Let us first analyze each of these transactions one by one. Before we proceed with the solution, let us recap the rules for creating and debiting the accounts. In case of assets, expenses or losses, an increase should be debited and a decrease should be created. In case of liabilities, capital, revenues or gains any increase should be credited and a decrease should be debited now let us analyze each of these transactions one by one in the first transaction bobby has invested 4 lakh rupees into the business so there is an increase in the asset the rule to record an increase in an asset is to debit the corresponding asset account in this case, the cash account. Let us first prepare the T account for cash. We need to add the 4 lakh rupees on the debit side in the cash account. At the same time, as this is cash brought into the business by the owner, it increases the owner's equity or the capital. The rule to record the increase in the capital is to credit the capital account. Let us first prepare the T account for capital. We need to add 4 lakh rupees on the credit side of the capital account for this transaction. In addition to this, the office equipment is brought into the business. This increases the asset. The rule to record an increase in the asset is to debit the asset account. Let us first prepare the T account for office equipment. We need to add 1 lakh 50 thousand rupees on the debit side of the office equipment account. At the same time, as this office equipment asset is brought into the business by the owner, it increases the owner's equity or the capital. The rule to record an increase in the capital is to credit the capital account. So we need to add 150,000 rupees on the credit side of the capital account for this transaction. That covers the transaction A. Let us now tackle the transaction B. In this transaction, a land worth of 150,000 rupees is purchased. It increases the asset named land. 
the rule to record an increase in the asset is to debit the asset account. Let us first prepare the T account for the land account. We need to add 1,50,000 rupees to the debit side of the land account. In addition to the land, a building worth of 3,50,000 is also purchased. This building purchased is also an asset and it increases the asset named building. The rule to record the increase in the asset is to debit the asset account. Let us first prepare the T account format for the building account. We need to add 3 lakhs and 50,000 rupees and the debit side of the building account. Note that these transactions will not increase the capital as these assets were not brought into the business by the owner but they were purchased. That is just for your information. Coming back to our problem, the payment for these assets is partially done by paying 2 lakh rupees of cash. As this payment is done in cash, it reduces the cash account. The rule to record the decrease in the cash asset is to credit the cash account. So we need to credit 2 lakh rupees into the cash account. In addition to the cash payment, the business is also giving a note of 8 lakh rupees. The note payable is a liability for the business. It increases the liabilities account. The rule to record the increase in the liabilities is to credit the liabilities account. Let us first prepare the T account named long term payable account to record this transaction. The next step is to credit 8 lakh rupees into the long term payable account. Note that the total pay is worth of 2 lakhs plus 8 lakhs that is 10 lakhs. You might be wondering why the payment of 10 lakhs even though the assets purchased are worth of 5 lakh rupees. This is because the seller is giving a lot of time for the buyer to make the payment. To compensate the delay in payment, the business has agreed to pay additional amount. At times, these are common in business. Anyway, that is just for your information. That covers the transaction B. Let us now deal with the transaction C. In this transaction, 12,000 worth of office equipment are purchased by the business. Office supplies is an expense. I repeat, it is an expense and not an asset. The rule is to record an increase in the expense by debiting the corresponding expense account. In this case, we need to prepare an expense account named office supplies account. We need to add 12,000 rupees and the debit side of office supplies expense account. As these expenses are made on credit, it creates a liability for the business. The rule to record the increase in the liabilities is to credit the liabilities account. To record these liabilities, let us create a T account named Accounts Payable. We need to add 12,000 rupees on the credit side of the Accounts Payable account. That covers the transaction C. Let us now deal with the transaction D. In this transaction, a motor car worth of 90,000 rupees is brought into the business. It creates an account named Motor Car. The rule to record the increase in the asset is to debit the corresponding asset account. Let us first prepare the T account for recording the motor car transactions. We need to add 90,000 rupees to the debit side of the motor car account. This transaction also increases the capital as the owner has brought the asset into the business. The rule to record the increase in the capital is to credit it into the capital account. So we need to credit 90,000 rupees into the capital account. That covers the transaction D. Let us now deal with the transaction E. In this transaction, 30,000 rupees worth of assets are purchased on credit. It increases the office equipment asset. The rule to record an increase in the asset is to debit the corresponding asset account. In this case, we need to debit the office equipment account with 30,000 rupees. Also, as this asset is purchased on credit, the business is creating a liability. The rule to record an increase in liability is to credit the corresponding liabilities account. In this case, accounts payable account. We need to credit the accounts payable account with 30,000 rupees. That covers the transaction E. Let us now deal with the transaction F. In this transaction, there is an expense of 7,500 rupees incurred to pay the salary. So this transaction increases the corresponding expense account, that is salaries account. 
Let us first create the T account to depict the salary account. In this case, we need to debit the salary's account with 7500 rupees. As this salary is paid out of cash, it decreases the asset named cash. The rule to record the decrease in the asset is to credit the corresponding asset account. In this case, it is the cash account that should be credited. So we need to credit 7500 rupees into the cash account. That covers the transaction F. Let us now deal with the transaction G. In this transaction, there is 30,000 rupees inflowing into the business. So this transaction increases the cash asset. The rule to record the increase in the asset is to debit the corresponding asset account. So we will debit the cash account with 30,000 rupees. At the same time, this also increases the capital account. The rule to record an increase in the capital is to create the capital account. So we will create the capital account with 30,000 rupees. That covers the transaction G. Let us now deal with the transaction H. In this transaction, there is an expense of 4,000 rupees. So this transaction increases the expenses account. The rule to record an increase in the expenses is to debit the expenses account. Let us first create the T account to record these expenses. We need to debit this expenses account with 4000 rupees. As these expenses are made out in cash, there is a decrease in the cash account. The rule to record a decrease in the cash account is to create the cash account. So we need to create the cash account with 4000 rupees. That covers the transaction H. Let us now deal with the transaction I. In this transaction, we are paying out 12,000 rupees of liability that we created in the transaction C. So, in this transaction, there is a decrease in the liability. The rule to record the decrease in the liability is to debit the liabilities account. So, we need to debit 12,000 rupees from the liabilities account. As this liability is discharged by paying in cash, this transaction reduces the cash account. The rule to record a decrease in the asset like cash is to credit the cash account. So we need to credit 12,000 rupees to the cash account. That covers the transaction I. Let us now deal with the transaction J. In this transaction, a new office equipment asset worth of 93,000 is brought into the business. So there is an increase in the asset. The rule to record an increase in the asset is to debit the corresponding asset account. In this case, it is office equipment account. So we need to debit the office equipment account with 93,000 rupees. To purchase this asset, another asset worth of 7,000 rupees is sold out. So there is a decrease in the asset. The rule to record the decrease in the asset is to credit the corresponding asset account. So we need to credit the office equipment account with 7,000 rupees. As we have sold out 7,000 rupees worth of office equipment. Now let us do a simple math. If we subtract 7000 rupees from 93000 rupees, the remaining amount to be paid is 86000 rupees. This amount is paid in cash. So there is a decrease in the cash asset. The rule to record a decrease in the asset is to credit the corresponding asset account. So in this case, we need to credit 86000 rupees from the cash account. That covers the transaction J. Let us now deal with the transaction K. In this transaction, the business has provided services worth of 26,000 to the client, but the client has promised to pay after 30 days. So there is an increase in the asset namely accounts receivable. The rule to record an increase in the asset is to debit the corresponding asset account. Let us first create the accounts receivable account. Now we need to debit 26,000 to the accounts receivable account. In this transaction, there is a revenue generated for the business in the form of sales. So there is an increase in the revenue. The rule to record an increase in the revenue is to credit the corresponding revenue account. In this case, the sales account should be credited. Let us first create the T account for sales. We need to credit 26,000 to this sales account. That covers the transaction K. Let us now deal with the transaction L. In this transaction, the client has paid 19,000. Note that till this point the amount to be received was in the form of asset named accounts receivable. When part of this amount to be received is received, it decreases this account. 
it is not that the asset is decreasing but it is getting converted from one form to the other in this case the asset that was in the form of accounts receivable is getting converted to the cash form to represent this we decrease the accounts receivable asset and increase the cash asset the rule to record decrease in the asset is to create the corresponding asset account so we need to create the accounts receivable account with 19000 rupees this transaction increases the cash asset the rule to record an increase in the cash asset is to debit the cash account so we need to debit 19000 rupees to the cash account that covers the transaction l let us now deal with the transaction m in this transaction bobby has withdrawn 20000 rupees from the business withdrawals are expenses this transaction is creating an expense named withdrawal the rule to record an increase in the expense is to debit the expenses account in this case it is drawings account let us first create t account for drawings we need to debit the drawings account with 20000 rupees as the drawings are made in cash this transaction reduces the asset named cash the rule to record the decrease in the asset is to credit the assets account so we need to credit the cash account with 20000 rupees that covers the transaction m with this we have covered the creation of t accounts for all the transactions thanks for watching edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements to watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel also please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published please click on the like button if you like this video thanks for watching